Hey everyone, in, in this video I just wanted to show you how to integrate Snowflake data into Fabric using Data Factory. It, it's fairly straightforward, but if you haven't done it before, I thought you might enjoy seeing how this works. So uh, let me just go into my Fabric environment, and what I'm going to do is um, first I'll switch to the data engineering uh, workload. So let's go down to the icon, switch to the workload data engineering, and then we're just going to uh, create a new data pipeline. It's going to be a very simple copy pipeline. Um, I'm not even going to do any transformations or um, manipulations, so we'll just we'll just import the data from Snowflake directly. So let's give this a name. Okay, create. Give that a minute to save. Got it. And then we're just going to use this copy data assistant wizard. And there are a lot of sources. Um, we'll choose Snowflake, obviously, which is supported first party, which is awesome. Uh, next. And I don't have any Snowflake connections in my Fabric environment yet. So um, we'll create a new connection. Obviously, you need to have permissions to create connections, which I do. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Um, so the server name, the warehouse, and let's see, compute. So it's just the default compute warehouse. Um, it's going to be a new connection. We won't be using a gateway. And we'll just use Snowflake username password authentication so get my username in there and next i'll just paste in my password which is long and complicated and then we'll start getting this going now we don't want to save that so what uh, fabric's going to do is go out and, and pull metadata and look at what databases are there so this is just a uh, a basic uh, uh, account in snowflake so i just have a couple in here and I'm going to use some of the Snowflake sample data. So you could repeat this yourself by setting up a, a new Snowflake account. Uh, and that looks good. So we'll go next and wait. Okay, that looks good. So now the wizard, next thing it's going to do is to go out and pull the list of tables uh, within the warehouse. Um, we'll let that populate, but I'm actually going to use a query um, that I developed. So I don't, I want, I don't want to pulling a whole lot of tables. I want to pull in exactly what I want from Snowflake. So let me go over in another browser window. I had put together a query that just has, um, it's kind of like a four-way join to pull out um, order detail by customer. And let me go back, put that in the clipboard. So we'll just paste that in here. There we go. And then I don't need to, I'll pull in a thousand rows um, just to make the demo go a little quicker, but um, you know, I could pull in all of these if I wanted to. And we'll make sure that this actually is the output that we wanted. And there it comes. Okay. And yep, that looks like the right data. So move forward. Now we have to choose a destination and I'm going to put this in a lake house delta table. So choose lake house. Choose the lake house I want to use. That looks good. Next. And yeah, we'll put it in the tables section, new table. There's our column mappings. Uh, but let, first, let's give it a table name. So how about snowflake order extract? That looks fine. Um, I don't really like all these uppercase letters. So let's just change these destination columns to make it a little more readable or friendly and maybe shorten some of these a little bit and price yeah price is fine okay let's go next and then we're going to put this in our workspace and let's go just go ahead and transfer it immediately so we can see it run take a look at the output okay it's going to start let's get this thing queued up We're only pulling 10,000 rows, so it shouldn't take very long. Okay, that was 36 seconds. It's not too bad. And now let's just go and in, go into the lake house and take a look and see what we have. So we'll go to the lake house table section, and it looks like all the metadata hasn't quite updated. We have this like unidentified folder down here. And don't worry about that. That's just um, in the background. Fabric is updating things. So if we refresh the tables, uh, we should be able to see actually the uh, the update here in another few seconds. Refresh. Ah, there we go. So there's our Snowflake customer extract. So we'll just click on that to look at the table to see 
if the data made it. And there it is. So yeah, we're good to go. Okay, that's it. So transferring Snowflake data, pretty easy. Uh, we can do it with the data factory. Um, really nothing to set up. It's uh, supported out of the box. You just need to have your credentials and connection information for your Snowflake instance. And um, you can incorporate that along with any data flows. So I hope that was uh, uh, interesting, or at least you learned something. I'll see you next time.